Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make changes to color balance, color settings on your GX7000, your GX7700, your GX3300, or your GX5050. This will not work for a 3110, it has different settings, the driver looks different. However, there is a video for an SG3110 on Condi TV. If you have a 3110 and want to make changes to color balance, be sure to tune into that video. This video will only pertain to the four Rico drivers that I've just mentioned. And that's your 7000s, your 3300, and your 5050. To get started, I want to tell you a little bit what these color changes do. This helps to richen color, to de decrease particular colors, red, cyans, yellows, magentas. Also increase your, sa your saturations, your contrast, or your color balance. So if you want to tweak in, tweak out color based on your client's needs or your needs for your images, or if you just prefer a setting better, you can fine-tune these colors through your actual printer driver. I'm using a PC. This will work for this video with PC Windows 7, Vista, Windows 2000, RXP. So let's get started. Go to your Start menu. Go to Devices and Printers if you have a Windows 7. Or you can go to your Control Panel and get to Printers and Faxes, Devices and Printers that way. I see devices and printers in my start menu, so I'm just going to left click. I'm going to do this demo on a 7700. That's a Rico 7700. Again, the settings are exactly the same on a 5050, a 3300, or a GX 7000, but not a 3110. So right click on the 7700, left click on printing preferences. In printing preferences, what we have here is we have a list of settings. If you're a Condi client, you have a Condi ICC setting here. You might have something that says Condi Photo, Condi ICC, um, anything that pertains to a Condi setting, uh, you, you would be ready to jump over to where it says User Settings, which is already selected through a Condi setting. Left click on Change. From here, you're going to click on balance adjustments and this is where we're going to make adjustments to color, tweak color, brightness, contrast, and saturation. As you up or add to these levels or take away to these levels, your color is going to slightly change based on the extreme extremes of how far you take it. To test this color, which I do recommend before you put it on a product, always beta test on your end using scrap pieces, something you've already messed up, um, maybe swatches you may have received here. Make sure you always keep something to test on. You don't want to make changes, assume everything is perfect, and then put it on a product and it not be right. So as you're making changes, keep notes of those changes in your notebook. Also, keep notes of what those changes helped with. For instance, if it was a laptop color, or, or if it was a richer red, or if it was for a particular client who prefers uh, a brighter or less contrast, make sure you keep notes to what those changes are so that you can refer back to them when you're, when you're working for that client again. So continuing on, here at the top, you see brightness, contrast, saturation. To add brightness, you're going to increase. This is going to lighten, or should I say brighten your color, darken your color. If you hold your cursor over the level and this, this slider, you, you can make adjustments that way. You can use your plus or minus, or you can actually highlight the value and type it in. Works the same for the other five settings as well. Saturations, that's going to take away your hues. Um, it's going to take away uh, saturation will usually turn things or take color out of things. For instance, make it more of a black and white. Uh, make sure that, you know, usually slight changes work really well. If you want to know the extremes, go from one extreme to the other and test. But 
slight movements with some of these things are going to make drastic differences so make sure that you know that if you're ever in doubt and you want to go back to what your default settings are keep in mind all your default settings are zero but if you click restore defaults it'll take everything back to where it was which is all zeros so should you make a change in here if you decide that you want to rich in your reds and say plus eight you can also go minus eight just to let you know um, if you do make a change make sure that you click OK come back to your setup click save and type condi ICC and say plus or whatever you want really but I'm gonna say uh, red 8 so that I know that I went plus 8 on my red or I could just name it after a particular product that I need richer reds on or for a client or a customer's name or a company name some way that lets you know what that setting is for so you don't get confused but whatever you put in here make sure you know what it's for okay so I'm just gonna say plus 8 R I'll know what that means plus 8 red just as a demonstration I'm gonna click OK now what I'm gonna see under my custom settings is that setting I just saved when I'm ready to go back to just Condi ICC to my regular setting I also have that in my drop down list where I can go back to that setting if I want to keep the setting and use it as a default I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna close out my Photoshop Corel draw whatever my digital imaging software is close it out reopen it when I reopen it that save setting will apply keep in mind if you want to go back to an earlier setting you must come back to your printer folder right click go to printing preferences drop down click on your regular setting Condi ICC click apply click OK close out and then close your applications out and reopen them make sure to save all your work don't want to lose anything so each time you make a change in your driver you need to close out of your uh, digital imaging software reopen it for those settings to apply if you have any questions on how to do this feel free to give me a call my name is Vicki I'm with Condi Systems as always I'm happy to help thank you for your time